Hi, I'm Nick with Calibrated Power, home of DuramaxTuner.com. Stealth Mach 2 for the L5P. If you know, you know, right? You got to this video, you know you need power. You know in order to make power, you need airflow. The Stealth 67 is the culmination of all of our work on the L5P for the maximum possible output and the best possible drivability. Life's a balance. So, on the compressor side, we got a big 67 millimeter compressor wheel capable of moving 82 pounds per minute of airflow. Now, the factory compressor can move about 60 pounds per minute to make 600 rear wheel if you're really pushing the snot out of the thing. So if you can make 80 pounds per minute, stands to reason that around 800 rear wheel is about what you can make if you have a supporting fuel system. This is for the guys who have some mods done to the truck. If you're in that position, there's no better balance though. So all the drivability of the factory turbocharger using the factory style nozzle assembly. You got the big high flow veins on this one. You're gonna need these high flow veins because we're moving a lot of exhaust gas here. We need that exhaust gas to get through the system quickly. We need it to get through at a reasonable pressure so we don't wanna be choking the system down and running super high drive pressure. That's gonna take away from the efficiency of the turbocharger. That's gonna raise EGTs. That's gonna basically just put everything in a compromised position as far as uh, reliability goes at that power level. So these high flow veins, Duramax tuner only, proprietary units. They work with our proprietary turbine, so it's a big turbine. We are extracting a lot of horsepower out of the exhaust system of this turbo. This big turbine is going to help us do it. we got to spin up the 67 comp wheel nice and high without choking things down. Like I said before, choke is the enemy here, so we want to get high flow. You know, flow is the balance between spool up and high flow, right? So we want a turbocharger that's balanced for our horsepower needs. If you're looking to make that over 700 horsepower number, then the 67 can do it. You're going to sacrifice a little bit of drivability because it is a big turbine. It is a big compressor wheel, so there is some inertia in the system. I'm not going to BS you, but it's a good trade-off. It's a good balance for the power level you're looking for. There's a reason most of our competitors don't make a 67 millimeter VVT. It's because they don't have our proprietary high-flow nozzle assembly, and therefore they don't have enough turbine flow to support that big compressor wheel. Once you start moving 82 pounds of air, you're going to really choke up the factory vanes, and the drive pressure is going to go through the roof. The key to maintaining a good driving, reliable, efficient turbocharger is a balance between boost and drive pressure. And the 67 maintains that into the mid 40s for boost. Before I leave you, I know a few of you are going to be calling me asking, how does it sound? Let me tell you, it's got a badass whistle out of the pipe. You're definitely going to know it's different than stock. Uh, the compressor side also sings. So this is a turbo that you're going to know is there. People around you are going to know this turbocharger is on the truck. Okay, there's not going to be any lack of that, especially when you're racking 800 horsepower. If you're looking for something reliable, spools up great, drives well, and is good balance for high-performance truck, this is the turbo for you. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. 815-568-7920. I'm Nick with DuramaxTuner.com. We'll catch you on the next one.